you must utilize a cinema camera that has been authorized by Netflix if you want to produce original content for them. This is being done to guarantee a specific level of quality. It's important to remember that any camera is capable of taking high quality pictures. As a result, you shouldn't let a list define what camera you buy. In our earlier videos, we've highlighted a lot of approved cameras at reasonable prices. We're going to recommend the top 5 affordable price cameras that Netflix has approved in this video. Find the most economical one by sticking around to the end. Let's start our list with the most affordable one, the Lumix BGH-1 camera, that is approved by Netflix. It is easy to use in transport and comes with advanced technology to ensure high-quality footage. The camera has a 10.2 megapixel live MOS sensor with dual native ISO technology, which helps minimize noise. It also allows for 10-bit C4K at 60fps internal video recording with pre-installed VLOG L and has a VFR feature for slow motion footage. The camera has a new heat dispersion structure and can record unlimited video. So, there are no concerns about running out of recording time. The camera also offers features like power over Ethernet Plus and PoE Plus for easy installations and control of up to 12 cameras with the Lumix Tether for multi-camera. It has multiple outputs like USB-C 3.1 Type-C 3G SDI HDMI Type-A terminal and Gen Lock in time code in and out functions for multi-angle synchronized video recording. The Lumix BGH-1 is suitable for both professional filmmakers and beginners, and it can help inspire creativity and take your work to the next level. Canon's newly approved cinema camera EOS R5C is one of the best cameras in the below $5,000 segment. Canon EOS R5C has a body that is similar to the R5, but it is thicker and bulkier because it has an additional fan at the back for better cooling. Unlike the R5, the R5C can record an 8K 60fps and also allows for slow motion recording in 8K, even in Canon's 12-bit cinema raw light format. However, the R5C does not have IBIS as it has been removed to prevent sensor heat buildup. Instead, there is a digital stabilization option that crops to 1, 1x and stabilize the image with his lenses Canon. The OS R5C allows shooting in various configurations, including RAW HQ, RAW ST, RAW LT, HDMI RAW, and XFAVC YCC 422, 10-bit. Aside from 12-bit RAW HDR, the camera can also capture 45 megapixel still images. That's why it's considered a hybrid or a dual camera, as it has a split personality in a positive way. It is a professional grade cinema OS device that can handle both video and still photography. Up next, Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K is the latest entry to the elite club of Netflix approved cameras which is already known for its exceptional image quality, now has an OLPF model that incorporates a high-performance optical low-pass filter. To its 12K Super 35 image sensor, the purpose of the OLPF is to reduce unwanted effects such as moi and aliasing. While maintaining the quality and color of the image, the Ursa Mini Pro 12K has an interchangeable PL lens mount at the front that can be used with a variety of professional scene lenses from different manufacturers. If you features a 12K Super 35 sensor, an acclaimed dynamic range of 14 stops, and a new color science that includes Black Magic RAW, it can shoot at 60 FPS in 12K with 80 megapixels per frame, and over sampling from 12K gives 8K and 4K images. The camera's sensor design is unique in that it has equal numbers of red, green and blue pixels, which allows for various resolutions to be selected, while maintaining the full Super 35 frame size. Considering the price, it's one of the most affordable cinema cameras that can record 12K full frame. The Canon EOS C500 Mark II is a modular cinema camera that takes technology from Canon's mirrorless EOS series and incorporates it into a professional cinema device. It has a 5.9K full-frame 35mm sensor 
that can capture high-quality footage in 12-bit cinema raw light or 4K 10-bit 4x2x2 XF AVC to memory cards. The camera features dual-pixel CMOS autofocus and in-body image stabilization, but image stabilization doesn't work when recording in RAW. Although, it has a maximum frame rate of 120 FPS with a substantial crop, it isn't ideal for capturing fast-moving action shots. With an impressive 13.1 stops of dynamic range and a rolling shutter of only 15.8 milliseconds, the EOS C500 Mark II is capable of capturing high-quality footage, even in low-light situations. Moreover, the camera can produce usable footage when underexposed by up to five stops, especially when noise reduction is applied in post-production. For a cinema camera with cinema raw light, the EOS C500 Mark II is an excellent choice offering great dynamic range and features. And last but not least, we have the FX9 camera, designed with professional grade features, such as XLR audio inputs and long battery life, that are typical in traditional video cameras. Additionally, it incorporates technology from Sony's Alpha Mirrorless series, including a full-frame sensor and hybrid autofocus. The camera is able to perform exceptionally well in low-light conditions. Thanks to its dual native ISO sensor and Sony's advanced color science based on its Venice Motion Picture camera. Although the FX9 has a 6K sensor, it downsamples the signal to C4K and doesn't offer internal raw recording. It can record up to DCI 4K internally at either 30 FPS in full frame or at 60 FPS with a small crop. And combined with the XDCA FX9 unit, the camera can produce 180 FPS in 4K full frame or 120 FPS in 4K or HD with a Super 35 crop. One of the standout features of the FX9 is its full metal body, which makes it durable in harsh environments, as well as this exceptional color production. The camera's custom and CNL settings deliver striking hues that enhance the quality of the footage. So there you have it a list of the top 5 inexpensive cameras recommended by Netflix. For additional budget-friendly choices, watch our earlier videos. Do you have any alternative models in mind? Post your comments in the space provided below.